Lieutenant, do you have anything more for this witness? Do you have anything more for this witness? Thanks, Lieutenant. I just love St. Paul. I didn't dismiss you. I beg your pardon? I'm not finished with my examination. Sit down. That's boss or sir. What's that? I appreciate you calling me boss or sir. I believe I've earned it. The defense counsel will address the witness as boss or sir. I don't know what kind of haberdashery you're running here. The witness will address the court as judge or your honor. I'm quite certain I have earned it. What do you want to discuss now? My favorite suit color? Hi, me, sir. Was the first coat ordered that day at 11 a.m.? Yes. Was there a coat ordered an hour earlier? Lieutenant, I think we already covered this earlier, haven't we? Your Honor, these are the order logs for the 11 a.m. entry and the 10 a.m. entry. They will prove there is no 10 a.m. entry nor an 11 a.m. entry. I'd like to enter these into evidence. I don't understand. You're admitting into evidence on a suit that was never ordered? Oh, we believe it was ordered. The defense will be calling Haberdasher Kaza and Haberdasher Calhoun. They were both working the floor that day. This is ridiculous. Check the new order logs. Oh, we'll get to that in just a minute, sir. A moment ago, you said the code ordered should not have been entered into the log. Is that right? Yes. Any chance Kaza would ignore your order? Ignore my order? Any chance he would have forgotten about it? No. Any chance he left your office and said, the old man is wrong? No. Would Kaza talk to the rest of the staff and tell them not to place an order and they ignored him? You ever serve in a tailor shop? No, sir. You ever serve in a department store? No, sir. You ever put your measurements in another man's hands and ask him to put his in yours? No. We place orders or our customers don't get served. And you don't get paid. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Are we clear? Crystal, let's have another question. If you gave an order that those measurements were wrong, then you, may, then you place an order to cover up the first order. Your orders are always followed. Then why would Kaza not follow them? Kaza was a haberdasher in training. Why the two orders, sir? Sometimes you gotta fix issues before it hits the floor. No, no. Your men follow your orders. That measurement should have not have gone out and the coat should have not come in wrong. Habitasha Kaza ordered that coat in red because you ordered him to. Didn't you? Look at the log books. You turned these guys loose, Colonel Jaime. You ordered the coat in red, then doctored the log books. You don't have to answer the question. I'll answer the question. You want answers? I feel I'm entitled. Do you want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth. We live in a world of suits, and these suits have to be made by haberdashers. Who's going to do it? You? Kaza? I have a greater responsibility than you can possibly fathom. Why, well, you. You've got the luxury of not knowing what I know. That that order, while tragic, probably saved us money. And my existence while grotesque and incomprehensible to you, saves us money. You don't want the truth because deep down in places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that floor. You need me on that floor. 
We use words like form, function, and fashion to describe a lifetime spent making clothes. You use them as a punchline. No, I don't have the time nor the inclination to describe myself to a man who rises and sleeps under the very fabric that I created and then question the matter in which I provided. I'd rather you just say thank you and went on selling. Otherwise, I suggest you grab a measuring tape and get on the floor and man your shop. Did you order the coat in red? I did my job. Did you order the coat in red? You damn right I did! Please, the court, I move to adjourn. The owner has his rights. Court's adjourned. <laughs>